Welcome to the WTPS News. My name is Alexis. My name is Dallas Franklin. And today we're here with filmmaker Aviva Kipner. Today we will be interviewing her for our film, Rose and Wall. What inspired you to start making films? Um, I think it was a combination of uh, the fact that it wasn't working out with my legal career. And I really wanted to tell stories. I always loved films and um, my first American War baby. And then the family moved when I was almost four to Detroit, Motown. And so I grew up in Detroit. But in 73, I went to Washington, D.C. to go to law school. So essentially, I've been in law school. Excuse me, I can't believe that's a slip. I've been in Washington, D.C. since 1973. So how many years is that? 46. 46. 46. Very good. So it's better at math in the audience than I am. <laughs> What um, is your favorite film out of all the films you've directed? You know, it's like asking a, a mother, what's your favorite child? I cannot say what my favorite film is. Each one of them, you know, my modus operandi is to make films about underknown Jewish heroes. But I have to say that of all the films, the one that has the most legs, the one I think that's had some ways the most educational um, effect has been Rosenwald and especially being here today has shown me that how important it is to make this film and the community see it and it's the only one that I did a study guide that went with it. All of them I did a DVD with bonus features but I think Rosenwald really lent itself to uh, great stories not only about the relationship between Rosenwald and Booker T. Washington but you know the very important black artisans that got grants and a lot more of the story of Tuskegee and how the schools have been restored. So I think in a way, Rosenwald has had uh, the most long-lasting effect in all the films. Okay. Why did you want to be a film director out of all the careers you could have had? Or all the careers, dear, that I did have. Um, I just grew up uh, loving movies. I saw them with my mother growing up. I remember every Sunday we would watch movies. And when it came to this crisis that I hadn't passed the bar and I couldn't practice law the way I wanted to, um, although I went on and did some Native American law, I just had this epiphany that I had to go make um, movies, um, first, on, like I said on the topic about Jews fighting Nazis, but that, in a, that there's something about the visual language of a film being in front of you, and you learn from it, not just by reading, but actually seeing it happen, that that was the power of what I wanted to do. So I spend, I'd say, 80% of my time either making movies or watching movies. And I'm very happy that you all continue to do this fine work uh, in documentary filmmaking, and you know, get other kids to do it too. You know, uh, and do your oral histories. Thanks a lot.